Oh. A concentrated form of mayonnaise. Dude, I can't even. Oh, I can't fucking hear. I'm hearing mayonnaise. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. All jokes aside, I'm gonna help you guys get the best audio possible that you can in your headset. It doesn't have to be a certain type of headset, it could be any headset, and it could be for any game. So this will boost your footstep audio, this will boost stereo audio, so like directional audio, so if he's coming from the left, you'll be able to hear him. If he's coming from above you, you'll be able to hear him, and so on. So first, we're going to head over to Equalizer APO. Once we're here, we're going to download. I agree. And then when this pops up, we're going to click our headphones. Mine are already clicked, but I'm going to unclick it and click it again. Should do this and then it should be different for you. But since I already have equalizer APO, it's going to say that, but it shouldn't even say that that error. So press OK. OK. And then finish. Once we're done with this, I want you guys to restart your PC and then come back to this video. Now that you have restarted your PC, we're going to head over to Peace Equalizer and we're going to download that. Make sure we're on the latest version, the newest version. Install. And then you're just going to do the same thing basically what you did with Equalizer APO, but it's not going to pull up the headset because both of them work together. So. You need Equalizer APO if you want to use Peace Equalizer, but Peace Equalizer is the one we use. So do not open Equalizer APO. You do not need to. So we're going to head over to Peace. We're going to go click full interface because we want to see everything. And we're going to go to the right. Make sure we have our headphones clicked. Yep. Cloud threes. All right. So we have all of these numbers here. You can pause and copy, but I'm a, I'm a talk through them. So we have for the first one, five, second one, two, third one, zero, fourth one, minus two, fifth one, minus 4.5, sixth one, minus 4.5, seventh one, minus 2.5, eighth one, one, ninth one, two, 10th one, 3, 11th one, 3.5, 12th one, 3, 13th one, 3. So you can pause, copy, and all of that. And then, yep. After we're done with that, we're going to head over to this effects button here. And then you see all these effects. I recommend not messing with any of these, but we're going to go down to where it says surround effect Surround effect. We're going to click it on. I have it on currently, but so I'm going to click it off and on to show you guys. Also, you can mess with these front delay, subwoofer delay, base preserver, front width, those settings if you want. But right now they're on pretty good settings, so I would not mess with them at all. If you guys want to experiment with stereo detection, that's going to be aiding in more like directional audio, but it's different for every headset. So if it sounds better in your headset, you can click on, but it was weird when I turned it on at first, it made everything quiet. So I just used the slider on the top. I'll show you guys. Once we're in here, we can change our amplifier if you want to. If you want to do more quiet, you go to the left, louder, go to the right. I usually have mine louder. I would say cut off would be about like 20 decibels. 30 is just too much, but I use around like 15, 16. So we're going to go to where it says save if you want to create a profile, but you don't need to save if you don't want to. It's totally up to you. So once you click done, it automatically saves in your headset no matter what. So you don't have to keep opening piece interference. It's going to save everything even after you restart and then if you don't like the audio you can always revert it to default but i'm not gonna lie this audio is really good for in-game but when you're watching like movies and videos it's all right because it 
it kind of makes the audio flat it's not like too bad but it just makes it like a little bit flat so if you want to fix that when you're watching like movies or videos or even listen to music i would head over to steel series sonar i would download steel series sonar if you don't have it just go over to the link in the description i'll link everything in the description pc equalizer equalizer apo and steel series you can do that open steel series it's going to hit you with a sign on or sign up if you don't have an account sign up obviously make sure you remember your passwords all right we're going to go to where it says media and then i have my preset on deep bass this makes everything sound amazing when you're watching like movies or videos or just like listening to music and shit. it just makes everything sound good also if you do want to experiment with like the gaming one i mean i don't use the gaming one that much i just think the peace equalizer is good enough because it makes my gun noise louder when i when i use sonar i don't like it i just can't hear anything else also, if we do use Sonar and you restart your PC, it's going to automatically keep Sonar open. So if you want to play games, you got to make sure you click your bottom right. And then you see that little audio icon down there. Click it, open volume mixer. And then here it says Steel Series Gaming. And then you can change it to media when we have this open. And then Cloud 3. All right, since it's not changing back to Cloud 3, we got to close SteelSeries Sonar. We got to make sure it's closed so it can change back. And then there we go. We change back to our clouds. Now we can go in any game and we can play. 99% of you guys will benefit from this. So I would greatly appreciate you dropping a like or a sub. We just hit 9,000 subs, which I am greatly appreciated for you guys. And yeah, my website is almost up for coaching. Make sure you join my Discord and I'll see you guys. Adios.